I think I'm getting a flat front tyre. Ready, look for a balloon ride. Yes. <laughs> Not. No balloon rides. So here we go. You ain't going to worry about your Kickstarter. Good. <laughs> You're spoiled with that electric start. My hip will appreciate it. Well, the weather seems to have held off for the moment. And we're away. Wow. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. You've joined us today. I've got to say, she was quite relieved last night when I told her she wasn't going to have to jump out of a balloon or go on a balloon ride. So, I'm on the mighty CT125. I've got to say, I quite like it already. And we're out for a blip round North Devon coastline with uh, Nathan from Dorothy Speed Shop. Lovely guy, I've got to say, really down to earth. Makes you feel really welcome. I don't know how much uh, off road we'll actually get in today. If you've seen his video yesterday, he was riding up a river. So yes, we're in uh, beautiful North Devon. Got to say, the hotel was lovely, and uh, it was a fun day yesterday. Where well, it's been a fun week, really winding her up. Hey, bit of spit of off road in, bit of sand. So I spoke to the daughter this morning. Oh God, his buddy sulking. He won't come out of his bed. I've got some proper making up to do when I get home. I could tell yesterday when he could see me carrying everything out, suitcases and what have you. He was sort of looking at me and saying, well, am I coming or what? And uh, you could just see it in his face. <laughs> Disappointment when I put him back in his bed. But I could quite see me owning one of these. So there's definitely room in the garage. Just for when you want to get muddy. Not that I get muddy very often. I say I'm more of a <laughs> warrior. We'll see how I fare when we get on the muddy stuff. The wife always liked a bit of off-roading and motocrossing when she was younger. And me, if I'm honest, I just never like getting muddy. We had a quad when the kids were younger, that was fun. We very rarely fell off that. But uh, we'll see how today goes. <laughs> Hopefully, I get back in one piece. That'd be a bonus in itself. So, yeah, I've got to say, this actually feels a little bit quicker than the monkey. Got a very responsive, uh, very responsive throttle. Seat's quite comfortable, to be fair. In fact, the ergonomics are all good. The, the arms, the legs. The wife's on little Chloe. The uh, Australian posty bike. You've got Nathan at the front, he's on another uh, CT125. Well, they did say this morning there was a right storm coming in, and it's either late or it's been and gone because it was supposed to clear for about 11 o'clock and leave us with uh, a windy but dry day with the odd shower. Um, Maybe they've already had it, but I haven't seen, I've been up since half six. And uh, it wasn't lashing it down then. <laughs> oh, I could just see I'm coming off today. I mean, if you're going to pick a day to do it, you might as well pick a nice wet winter's muddy, rainy day to do it. Hey, get proper muddy. I've definitely got to lose a bit of weight. I think uh, Jabba January needs to end now. Because I've piled it on over Christmas. Um, I've got my old rucker trousers, which were always quite a loose, baggy fit. But bear in mind, at one point, I could get a pair of uh, tracksuit bottoms under these. And uh, I'll put them on today. I'll bust the zip. I'll bust the flies. I think I'm just about done. I'll put the top. And uh, boys, they tight. I'm now all out of motorcycle jackets that fit me, apart from the one I've got on which is a mesh one under this waterproof jacket because my winter one I can't do up so yeah jab of January has got to end I've got to get myself bike fit especially with the summer months coming in Honda, Honda, come on you so missed the opportunity to sell this bike in the UK why can't we buy it in the UK unless you go through the, the expensive and the the hard way of importing it which is what this man's had to do i mean come on i'd have one of these just to do these sorts of roads so i could keep my monkey nice and clean clean and shiny 
because I do like to keep the monkey clean and shiny. You know, for a bike with little skinny wheels, it feels very responsive and quite stable. Even in the gravelly, dirty, muddy bits that we're on at the moment. I don't know what it'd be like once we get to the mud mud. You've got to remember to be a bit smooth, a bit smoother, Lee Bird, a bit smoother on the down change and the up change, love. You know, I'm in about third gear now and it's uh, pretty much it'll handle these bends and you don't have to you don't have to change up or down. It's uh, a cruise in this gear. First river crossing of the day. Oh yeah. Glad I got my seal socks on. That for a view. Oh, absolutely beautiful look. But it's lovely in the summer. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. Lovely. Lovely. How's it compared to the monkey? Do you know what? It's a little bit more responsive, and I think it's got a little bit more power up top end as well. Yeah. I'm at Lee Bay. Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely a lucky bugger having it on your doorstep, that's for sure. Yeah, I've just never been down here and used it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's always the way though, isn't it? The one thing that always annoys me with bloody Honda is they put the horn where the indicator should be. <laughs> that thumb for years has been trying to find that indicator without looking and you're always popping your own. Like the big clean up. That's the other good thing about uh, these, these little bikes is they don't annoy anybody. You know, if, I can imagine if he was blatting around on something loud and noisy and spoiling the ambience of the countryside. Then <laughs> I guess people would start to get really wrapped off of you. But these little things, they're non-offensive. In fact, as you just saw, they make people smile. They don't feel threatened by you. As I find on some bikes, people look at you and they feel threatened in some way. And they don't know why that is, whether it's just a stereotypical response to us motorcyclists. But these little bikes make everybody smile, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a cracking little bike though, I've got to say. I mean, price-wise, once you've uh, you've actually imported it and got it on the road, I mean, the company that uh, Nathan bought them off uh, does all that, they are then slightly more than a brand new monkey to buy in the UK. But you know what? <laughs> Just like I think my monkey's worth every penny, I think this little bike's the same got plenty of character yeah through the water we go another river crossing get in there i call it a river crossing because that's as brave as i'm getting so nathan himself he's a if you follow him on youtube he's a very knowledgeable man for sure and he's a lovely guy it's really just make you feel welcome we've uh, had quite a laugh with him this morning he picked us up from the hotel another river crossing <laughs> Monkey-tastic! Well, it's not actually a monkey, but you know what? It gives you the same sort of feeling. I think I'm getting a flat front tyre. Oh, when did that go? On that, I bet it was them edge cutters, was it? I think it was after that, yeah. Yeah, we have had some rain down here, really. Overnight it, really. I hope not. Yeah. I'm, feeling, I'm filming your skill. <laughs> I was quite impressed how quick he got it out, to be fair. Just a minor glitch in the life of an adventurer. Yeah. How many punches did you get on the way back from Australia? Probably about seven or eight. <laughs> seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good going, isn't it, for the miles? Got myself a flat tyre, but uh, 10, 15 minutes. The man himself had it out, swapped it over. Oh, I would say to any of you who are owners of these, you must carry a spare tube with you like this man if you're going to do this sort of thing. Because you just never know. And it's not like uh, the old tubeless tyres where you can just plug it and go. Got to be able to 
whip it out, tie levers, swap it over, and then uh, you'll never be stranded. As you can see, the weatherman got it wrong. It's finally come in now and uh, started to rain. <laughs> it's all good fun. It's all good fun. He has said uh, a lot of the uh, lanes we would have been going up today <laughs> just totally flooded out, unfortunately. Right, we're back. We're back in the lanes. Some idiot forgot to put a fresh SD card in. Yeah, it was always the first time. <laughs> I do sometimes worry that, you know, I don't know, sometimes you can get, get it wrong, can't you? You can put a move your bike and you grab the throttle or whatever. And Off you go. Off it goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you don't want to go down there. Now, this is the uh, Valley of the Rocks. Valley of the Rocks. Valley of the Rocks. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh, Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. <laughs> 25 cent hill, come on, little posty bike. Let's go. No prob, no problem for these little beasties. 25 cent hill, no problem. Fully loaded with a fat man. The 110. And the quad have the power. Go on, you beauty. That's an ill, that is. That is a bloody ill. Well, we're nearly at the end of our day now. But I gotta say, it's been bloody amazing. Bloody amazing! I do love this little bike. I don't think it matters what you throw at these bikes, they will do it. Obviously the 125's got a little bit more in it than the little 110 that my wife's on. But do you know what? Still getting up the hill. Still getting up the hill she is. And we're off. Hey, hey, we're off. Definitely want to come back here in the summer when the weather is nice and the skies are blue. I'll have another crack at it. A bit more off-roading. I think I might, uh, I might come back with the monkeys. Hook up with Nathan and we just go out for a ride. Definitely like to ride the monkey around some of these roads, absolutely bloody beautiful. And that for me is what uh, the adventure is all about for us at the minute, is just getting out and doing something. It's just nice to get out and revitalise the soul. Considering what was forecast today, I think we have uh, we've definitely been lucky, really, with the weather. 
And it's not been, you know, it's been a nice, just gentle pace of just having a bit of fun today. It's not about cracking off the miles. Had a couple of coffee stops and a good yab. To just talk motorbikes and adventures and things to come. And it's just been a really good, fun, packed day. So I would say to anybody that fancies riding one of these bikes before they commit to buy one, tap Nathan up. Come ride his. You'll have an amazing day. Like I say, he is a lovely guy. You will get so if you're a biker, you will get on with him like an house on fire, I'm telling you. I know that my wife's uh, she's buzzing, she's had a really good day and uh, hopefully for her it's a hey <laughs> it's a birthday to remember. Because what's not to like about this look? Dun dun dun! Oh yeah! We're not crossing that one though. <laughs> We're not crossing that one. Not open now. Yeah, we're not crossing that one. <laughs> Not today. Better be quite fun when it's not it's not as uh, not as flooded. You can see how much uh, how much rain they've had here, can't you? Which in a way it's it's you know it's a little bit unfortunate that uh, we can't do the real muddy muddy stuff. But hey, do you know what? For me this is muddy enough. I'm a tarmac warrior, not an off-road king. But I got to say, it has been fun. Because the other bonuses, I haven't got to clean them. Oh no, no bike cleaning duties for me today. These little bikes really do instill um, a good level of confidence in uh, riding dirty little lanes like this. They really do. You know, with their little skinny knobbly tyres on, um, they give a good, good level of grip and feedback. And he's like, I think I want to get my C90 out. He's got a C90 in the garage that I built. I'll show you a picture now. It's, uh, it's, it's been parked up. Uh, it's the only thing I've ever built. Uh, and I've told her she can never sell it. I would definitely regret selling mine. It uh, was unfortunate when times were hard through the, through the lockdown and we lost the jobs. But I've got my monkey now. And that was another part of buying the monkey, was to replace that small capacity bike in my life. Don't get me wrong, you know, I still love the the rides I have on the bigger bikes. I say he was out yesterday looking at um, some more technical trails, and uh, he was riding up a river. It was, uh, I mean, it was fun to watch, and I was thinking, oh my god. Luckily, he said, no, no, we're definitely not going up there today. But in the summer months. He says, you know, these are the they are the lanes to the fun lanes to do. <laughs> you know what? These are fun enough for me, <laughs> especially at my skill level of off-roading, which is pretty crap to be fair. Maybe I might just change my mind and think, you know what? I want to get my monkey dirty. I want to take it down the trailers down. I might even get a set of nobblies on it. Do a bit of off-roading, a bit of green laning on the monkey. Because I have had fun, I got to say. Wee! Another river crossing. Oh, it's a deep river, this one, look. Oh, look, standing up, look. Hey, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Look at her, bless her. Up in the pegs, look. Hey, <laughs> Go on, go. <laughs> oh, dear. The smallest things. To be fair, the only thing that's um, probably put my wife off over the last couple of years actually getting her C90 out and uh, riding it is the fact that it's kickstart only, which is a bit like little Chloe that she's on in front. We've had to kick it for every day. Uh, her right knee is absolutely shot. You're probably going to have to have a replacement at some point. Old age and old age and lots of motorbike miles and doing silly things in life. The waters are definitely wild today. Yeah, what would want to be in that river. That would take you for a ride, wouldn't it? Just goes to show how much rain they've had. Oh, gee, we was in some of it this morning. But, uh, after a bit of a coffee break, it did uh, did blow over. But hey, it's only water, isn't it? It's only water. We're all waterproof. For all you lucky people out there that uh, are waiting on one of these bikes or you've ordered these but you're not going to be disappointed because obviously you can't test ride one of these in the UK you've got to import one in but I'm telling you now you will not be disappointed if you uh, if you're still at that stage where you're just thinking about 
one of these bikes and you're not sure you will not be disappointed definitely on par with the monkey for fun and, and its own style you know i do like the fact that there's a bloody big rack on the back you know so if you're into that way you just want to have one to go camping perfect for the back of a camper uh, you know camper van as far as i know you can add a set of rear foot pegs and you can get a pillion seat to go where the rack is and uh, no problems room wise two up on one of these I would say I've got uh, my Krieger strapped to the back with all my bits and bobs in. So I do love the fact that, do you know what? This is a proper little adventure bike. You get the tent on the back and everything you need. Oh, this is a big hill, this one. No <laughs> GoPro's not showing it, but it's like I'm leaning forward because it feels like I'm wheeling a bit. Come on, kid. You can do it, little Honda. It dragged my fat ass up there, that's for sure. And I'm touching 16 stone. I know, I know, 16 stone. Ooh. Jabba January really has took its toll. Too many chocolates, too many cakes. I've got to start losing some weight. Otherwise, my little monkey probably won't cope. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Cause I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever. Feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Well, we've had an amazing day. It's been so much fun, uh, even though Mother Nature's got a sick sense of humour. Uh, just to finish the day, I'd like to introduce you to the man that's made it all possible and uh, let us ride his bikes. Greetings, I'm <laughs> Nathan from Dorothy's Speed Shop in North Devon, where it's very cold today. So. Ideally come in April, May, June, July, August, September or October when it might be a bit warmer. But uh, no, it's been great having these guys down and we, I think it's been, a, it's been a good day's ride. It's been fun because it's been so wet. Uh, I've never seen it as wet as it's been today, to be honest. Uh, even on the roads and there's been a lot of wash from the, the fields and, the, and there's a lot of gravel and mud on the road. So yeah, some interesting riding conditions. As ever, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a big like and uh, hit that subscribe button. Show us a bit of love. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there.